بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين إن شاء الله we are going to take uh, the Quranic Arabic grammar and uh, our session today is going to be حروف الجر حروف الجر let me see if I can expand this and uh, so that you can see the things properly. Okay, perfect. So as we mentioned, the main purpose of this course is that when we're to try to learn the, 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 the common letters of the Quran. So once we are done with the common letters, the second course will be the common words. Now, when, when those people who are weak in reciting the Quran, if they start to know these common letters and common words, their recitation of the Quran becomes fluent and becomes faster. So this course is, as we mentioned, two directions. One is to make your recitations faster and fluent and to understand the meanings of these, uh, these uh, common words when they pop up on your face while reciting the Quran so you are able to understand the Quran properly. And you can also check the translation whether what you learn is the matching what uh, what is it been translated and you can see how people they translate differently by bring, bringing the same word and looking at two translators and then you figure why did this translator this translator choose this meaning and why did that translator choose that meaning <clears throat> so basically it is uh, it is very important so this is like a semi final <laughs> lesson so this course is of 10 sessions. Now part two will be more elaborated course, which is going to talk about the words, common words. So uh, enough grammar here, some grammar sessions are already uploaded on YouTube to understand these, uh, what is marfu, what is mansub, what is majroor. But this was a very basic course to try to get the hang of the, some of the very commonly used um, words in the Quran and we are going to do an exercise next week and we're going to count how many words of these which we have studied are in one page. So today we are going to take huruful jar. Huruful jar are particles of preposition or preposition. Uh, what is the meaning of that? First of all, uh, to, uh, to, for the copyright purpose, this is where I took the, the slide from uh, just to, uh, as a startup. So uh, particles of preposition, like to, um, from, to, from, to, about, uh, on, uh, in, all these kind of things are prepositions in English. So whatever comes after it in Arabic language must have the, uh, the E sound, okay? E, like kasra. So if you recall last week, we mentioned that if, uh, if in Arabic language, if it's a subject, it will take O sound in more, in more normal cases, in most of the cases, O sound. Like if we say uh, Muhammad, uh, that means he's a subject, Muhammad came, okay? And we said that whenever it is an A sound, normally it's an object or from the family of the Mansubad. That co that those lectures are there on our Al Qaim Hausa um, uh, YouTube. They are already there, so you can go back to them. And I have explained this ah, uh, ooh, ah, uh, e sound. When is a word in Arabic language uh, uh, takes u sound? Dhamma, u sound. When does a word take a sound? When does a word take e sound? So I'm not going to repeat that in this course. Okay. This course is how to be familiar, familiar, familiarized, <laughs> how to get <coughs> uh, uh, familiar, that, yeah. that's a problem for me. Anyhow, how to become familiar, that's easier for me. How to become familiar with the, uh, with the mostly commonly used, so your recitation of the Quran becomes faster and fluent and with some understanding. So today our session is Huruful Jar. So Huruful Jar, uh, um, remember, U sound, A sound, E sound. Bamma, U. We, Urdu, we call it Pesh. Fatha, uh, Zabar. Zair, Kasra. So, U, Bamma. A, Fatha. E, Kasra. 
حروف الجر whatever noun comes after it they will give them e sound kasra sound unless if there were some odd circumstances okay so so whenever we have like min li min is from li is for fi is in ka is like similar to resemblance ila is to okay you can write these in your notes though inshallah next slide <clears throat> i have kept the uh, translations so uh, this 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 chart i found it in a place which is called huruf jar in the quran so these are some of those commonly used huruf jar in the holy quran min from li for lillahi ta'ala qurbatan lillahi ta'ala achieving the nearness for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the sake of allah we say min salah min okay from fi in ka like remember in surah al-jum'ah kamathal kamathal al-himari yahmilu asfara the like of this donkey which carries what loads okay the like of the donkeys which the donkey which carries load kamathal al-himari yahmilu ka ka like the like the resemblance of donkey ila to okay ila allah towards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ila makkah towards makkah ila al-imam al-husayn to ziyarat of imam husayn ila karbala ila al-madina al-munawwara to visit the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wasallam where are you coming from min al-madina al-munawwara min i am coming from from the medina okay min where where are you going ila aswid i'm going to sweden okay from medina to sweden who did you do that for ziyarat was for who to please allah lillahi for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, where did you stay fil funduk inside the hotel in the hotel fi so these are main some of the commonly used prepositions and we have a lot of uh, places quran has used this now let's move to the to the next slide so whenever a noun is preceded by harf jar particle of jar now it is called harf harf means letter so why is it called letter min is not a letter min is word like mim and noon it's a word yeah but since independently they don't have any independent meaning they have to be in a structure to give a proper meaning so they are dealt like harf so huruf al jar there are two types words and letters okay words and letters this is a word but it is dealt like harf this is a word fa and ya ila this is a word this is harf only a letter this is harf only a letter you got it so huruf al jar are two types some types of huruf al jar are words some type of huruf al jar are letters let's go back to our words now min from ila to and about like when when we talk about the hadith we say an abi abdullah as-sadiq alayhi salam it has been narrated from imam ja'far as-sadiq alayhi salatu wasalam an rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wasalam it has been narrated by the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wasalam so an it has been narrated like it has been pushed out it has been come out like an means stay away from me anni away okay that is the literal meaning and away so like hadith came out that means it went away from the prophet i captured it so the narrator who listened he got it so the hadith was issued from the prophet it came out from the prophet and so i'm just giving you like making these things closer to your mind in arabic language these might have several meanings 
in 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 huruf al jar they have several meanings as we are going to take uh, uh, in another slide okay so basically these are the basic meanings which i have kept so an basically means ibtad anni go away from me stay away from me okay anni an al imam al hussein alayhi salam it has been narrated from imam hussein that means we say from imam hussein but literally means it has been come out away the hadith was said narrated away from imam hussein alayhi salam that's that's literally but no the meaning of the context is it has been issued from imam hussein so the same an can have different meanings in 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 a different context min can have different meanings in different contexts ila so uh, an at this point oh how will we know that this is meaning that you have a lot of meaning but as i said if you are familiar for me if you become familiar with these 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 uh, these letters or these huruf uh, these particles of preposition then your recitation becomes more faster because they pop up every now and then now and then now and then ala on above ala tawilati it's on the desk fi in hatta until so let's see min indicates the art or partiality tabi'ith they call it wa qala alladhi indahu ilmun min al kitab the one who had the knowledge from the book he was able to perform this miracle and bring the throne of bilqis from yemen to palestine wa man indahu ilmu al kitab and imam ali ibn abi talib doesn't have part of the knowledge no he has the knowledge of that book that knowledge which uh, which was with uh, asif bin barkhia successor of prophet sulaiman imam ali alayhi salam had the whole knowledge and we narrated this from uh, the school of companion that imam ali ibn abi talib had the knowledge of the book the quran he learned it from rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wasallam every single thing he learned from rasulullah so he had the knowledge of the book that person he had the knowledge of part of the book because nabi sulaiman did not have all the knowledge which prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had so obviously his successor will not have all the knowledge so he will have partial knowledge imam ali alayhi salatu wasallam was successor of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so he had all the knowledge given to him by the prophet ilm al kitab so ilm min al kitab partial knowledge ila indicates end or before the end so either end or before the end different meanings and away from about avoidance or narrating a quote which came out which came up which went away from the sayer the sayer said it now the quote is floating away everywhere so it is at like away from okay ala indicates superiority or on hatta in the case end of time or destination or end of limits fi in the case inside or inside a thing or inside something or um, inside the bottle inside the jar inside something let's go to the next one letters so those were words but we call them huruf harf means literally letter but these are particles so particles in uh, we can say words which are particles of preposition and letters now look at ba by itself harf al ba okay obviously uh, it is not ba it is b with a kasra but ba is the letter so let me just uh, uh, do something here and try to fix it uh, and make it as it is b okay so because it has kasra in it b so b billahi bir rahman b bil qalam with the pen bil kursi with the chair okay b can be used with several meanings such as uh, such as in b in like fil manzil okay no i'm sorry not fil manzil bil manzil where uh, with the man, with the house so i don't know this example is a little bit not bil manzil okay uh, where, where is uh, where is your father bil manzil 
in the house, though it is literally with the house, bil manzil, because be initially means with. Let me just uh, put the literal meaning of it. B means with, okay? So basically, B with, B. Bil qalam, with the pen. Let's remember that. Can be used with several other meanings, such as bil manzil, in the house. Like many Iraqis, uh, where's your father? Bil manzil, in my house, in the house. Assistance, bil qalam, with the pen. Compensation, bi khamsati dolarin. I bought it for $5, so I gave $5, so I gave a compensation of $5. So, and again, I purchased it with $5. That means I gave $5. So it was a compensation with. By or beside. Marartu bi Muhammadin. I passed by Muhammad. I passed by Muhammad. Or oath or wow. Billahi, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Billahi, okay, and it is used for oath. And there, so so these are like letters. So this is A is B, like the letter A, because I already used numbers here, so I wanted to use A, B. What is the next harf al jar? Wow, like wow of qasam. Wallahi, wallahi by God. See wallahi. Now, I, I forgot to make your, uh, pay your attention to the E sound at the end, okay? Ilmun minal kitabi. Minal kitabi. Ilmun minal kitabi. That's a mistake, not kitabu. Edited this. Okay. Ilmun minal, minal kitabi. That is how it's supposed to be. Because E, E sound, okay? And then, ila, two. Let's see the example. Ila Allah, he, he, E sound. So af whatever comes after harf al jar normally takes the, uh, the E sound, normally, unless if there are odd cases. Ala, ala tawilati. My phone is on the desk E, ala tawilati. حتى حتى مطلع الفجر سلام هي حتى مطلع ال مطلع ال حتى مطلع الفجر مطلعي okay so e sound is there in مطلعي حتى مطلعي and في في ال what they say في الفجر in the dawn فجر في الفجر Fil jannati, e, that e sound. Okay, there is e sound after it in most of the cases. Billahi, bil manzili. Let's just fix this also. Bil manzili, bil qala, me. Bi khamsati dola rin, in. Marartu bi Muhammadin, in. So all these, I can easily make it with a red color indicating the E sound. So this is double. This is tanween, nunation, okay? This is nunation. And this is single kasra. And this is also single kasra. Bil qalami, okay? Uh, here, billahi, he. Now, E, I, E, whatever. In Swedish, it's E is I. In English, it's E is E. So, so therefore, uh, just to let you know that it is E sound. Okay? Now, let's come to this. Wow, al qasam. Wallahi. Ta al qasam. Tallahi. Lam. Lam al qasam. Lillahi. Okay, so lam is for and lam is for qasam. Lam is also like ba, it has several meanings. Okay, remember this ba, b had several meanings. Li also. We let me just also for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, qurbatan lillahi ta'ala, I will just make it li. Okay, 
Ta is good. Tallahi. Wow is like wa. Wa. Let me just make wa. Wallahi. And ta is already ta. Okay. Li, lillahi. And kaf is ka. This is how it comes in Arabic language. Now let's see. <clears throat> Lam. So Lam Li has several several uh, meanings. Li could be Lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi ard. For Allah is whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. See again, we have two harf al jar here. Okay, ma fi samawati. This fi. Remember, we what happened? I'm just going to uh, put li. This is harf jar. And then there is this fi harf jar. Okay, fi. Ma fi samawati wal ardi. So it is for Allah, whatever is in the heavens and whatever is in the earth. Fi samawati wal ardi. So for Allah, for Allah. Belonging. Similar to the ownership, lil bayti babun. For the house, there is a door. Lil bayti babun. There is a there is a there, for the for the house. There is a door. Why are you coming from the window? So this door this this door belongs to the house. This door belongs to the house. And then mentioning the cause, mentioning the cause or the reason. Jetu li ukrimaka, li ukrima, li ikramika. Okay, li ikramika is good as well. So jetu, I came to what? What was the reason for my coming? To honor you. My visit to you was to honor you. Okay. So here also, and then here kal asadi. Ka, as we said, ka. Good. So now, J2, I came to, liikramika, to honor you. If lam prefixes the noun with article al, alif of al is removed. Okay? Alif, alif Allah. So I don't say li Allahi, no, I chop off the a. Ah. Of Allah and I say Lillahi. So Li and Allah, I chop off A ah, and it becomes Lillahi. Connect the Lam with the Lam. Lillahi. Qurbatan Lillahi Ta'ala. Kaf as a resemblance. Ka. Aliyun Kal Asadi. Aliyun is like a lion. Okay, like the lion. Ali is like the lion. Kal asadi, because it's Ali for lamb, so it has to be the. Ali is like the lion. Okay. So Ali is like the lion because we used Ali for lamb article. So that makes it the lion. Okay, so that's Huruf al Jar. Again, Huruf al Jar. Min, ila, an. على في حتى. Okay, these are حروف الجر which are there are more but these are like mostly used in the Quran, Quranic حروف الجر because our lesson is Quranic grammar. To 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 let your to let you become familiar with the with the with the most commonly popping up letters and words in the Quran. So now. We we have this B with or any different meaning. We have this wow qasam wallahi ta qasam tallahi li. It has four or different meaning. Okay, and uh, there's one qasam as well. Lillahi uh, kaf, which is uh, also aliyun kal asad, aliyun kal asad. Uh, I'm sorry, lam is not used for for uh, for qasam. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, so it is wow, ta, and wallahi, wow, tallahi, and billahi. So these are the three used for qasam. Lam, 
is lillahi uh, is uh, used normally for 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 Allah for the sake of Allah. But that lillahi and billahi and tillahi and this hot weather we are having. So uh, just uh, so basically, lam is for and any other meanings. There is a uh, there is a phrase for, of praise as well, which is rarely used. Um, um, we are we are going to take it in an advanced grammar. Kaf ka kel asadi. Now let's see. I took this for the copyright purposes. <laughs> I took this from the uh, from the Quranic language made easy, uh, from Ikra International Educational. Uh, foundation from Chicago. It's a fantastic book, though I have some observation in some of the sequences, but let me show you if you can get it. Uh, I don't think so you can get it because this was uh, very rarely now it's found. It's, it's an edition of, uh, uh, in UK they have a branch. It's an edition of 2012. 2012, I don't know will you be able to get Quranic language made easy. This, this is blue and it's a big, huge. And you have this down, Iqra. They're not giving me commission. <laughs> I'm being faithful to the copyrights because I'm using the images and some lessons from this book. So uh, I have to be clear in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I took these two images. What is the purpose of these two images? There's a little bit that remember we said after harf al jar e sound comes but this rule does not apply in pronouns when a harf al jar a particle of preposition is prefixed with a pronoun okay remember the pronoun lessons we started this course with the pronouns the attached pronoun okay or detached pronoun because they are all fixed they are not changeable so there is, there are some rare cases like, for example, uh, attached pronoun, which is for singular male. That in some cases takes E sound. Okay. So here in this, prep, this group, like ila, ala, b, and with. The above words are always followed by a noun or a pronoun. Okay? They have their own meaning and have an effect on the following noun or a pronoun with the E sound or whatever is similar to the E sound. Okay? So their effect on the noun is that they will convert O sound of the last letter to E sound. So O will become E. Min al madrasati. So al madrasatu min al madrasati. Al madrasatu ila al madrasati. Al madrasatu ala al madrasati. Al madrasatu bil madrasati. E, E at the end. So that is the job of Haruf al Jar, he says. Okay? Now, so, so these are like uh, ila, to towards, ala, on, upon, in. Fi, B, uh, with or in. Remember, it has meaning. Bil in the in the house. And then we have the other group, and I'll come to the examples after a while. This group, the following list of other preposition used in the Quran. This is used for qasam, swearing. Wa wallahi, tallahi. Kaf is used. For like, okay, like resemblance, kal asadi. Min is like you can use it. This is greater than this, then greater than, or you can use it from. An from or about or away. Hatta until. Li for, okay. These are initial meanings. As I mentioned, uh, the context might change these meanings to different meanings as well and that's the beauty of arabic language that they have layers of meaning and that's why in quran you can have layers of meaning and it might the meaning might change from one context to another context so what does he say here he says the, the preposition mentioned above will have the same effect on the nouns as the preposition from the previous lessons 
like the previous slide, preposition group number one. But they will, they will have no effect on the pronouns, okay? So the pronouns are solid. The, pro, the previous ones, they will have an effect on an attached pronoun, singular male, okay? Let's try it out to remind you the pronouns. Okay, let's try it out. Here, Ila. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Ila. Ilaihi. So he, he sound is there. Bihi. He sound is there. Fihi. He, he, he sound is there. Like ha has kasra. Alaihi. He sound is there. So this is what? The attached male singular pronoun. Pro pronoun. Let's see others, does it change or not? It will not. You want to try it? Let's try it. Let's take female singular pro, 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 possessive pronoun. Ilaiha, ha. Can't we say ilaiha hi? No. That will be judo karate, okay? I'll kung fu or something. Alaiha. Can't we say alaiha e? Same thing. Biha. Can't we say bihai? No. Fiha. Can't we say fihai? No. So that means only attached pronoun. Well, there are more pronouns. Let's try others. Okay, let's try. The second possessive pronouns. Kalamuka. Kalamuki. Ilaika. Can't we say it ilaikai? No. Alaikai? No. Bikai? No. No, no, no. Or it is just a for male second person pronoun. What about female? There is E sound. Yes, but it is always E sound. Ilaiki. It is not because of harjar. It is its fixed sound. Alaiki. Biki. Fiki. All is E. e, e it's, all, it's initially E sound. It doesn't change. Even if it, we had something O before it, it will never change. Okay, what about two? Ilaikuma. We can't say ilaikumai. Or ilaikum. We can't say we can't say ilaikumi. Ilaikunna. We can't say ilaikunni. Ilaikunni. No. It is it will turn to Swahili or any other language. But Arabic, no. So so these are so only where uh, they, 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 they affect the pronoun is a male third person pronoun. He. Ilaihi. It becomes he. Because you can say who as well. Kitabu who. Okay? So here, ilaihi. So this who sound, ha, has some flexibility in it. Male, singular, a third person pronoun. Only. But the rest we saw. Ilaihima. Ilaihim. No. All are fixed, stubborn. They have one sound. A, a, or, or, or e, or whatever. But ha, is changeable. That is all what they wanted to say that these, when ha comes, they change. So let's check those one. Let's check the other group. Uh, when we put ha, does it change? Kahi. Ka, no. Uh, first of all, it is, is it very complicated to. Uh, innahu Muhammad Kahu. Uh, it's no. It's, wa, wa, Wallahi, tallahi. These are coming from Qasam, so you cannot, uh, uh, if you want to put Allah, wa huwa, wallahu, it, does, it comes with Allah, okay? So this is not uh, feasible, this is not, yes. Kashajari, kashajari, noun will have E sound, but pronoun can have, kahuma, no. Kahuwa, no. Uh, ka, Kahia, no. So these are all uh, all uh, de uh, detached pronouns initially attached with this. We can't put that that attached pronoun with this calf. Okay, we have to put a full fledged pronoun, full fledged fledged pronoun. Min, let's say, minni, min min minna. Uh, so minnai, no. Minka, minkai, no. Minki, ki is originally e. Minkuma, minkumai, no. 
Minkumi, no. Minkunai, no. No, only minkum. Min, they are not changeable. What about minhu? There we changed. Here we can't say minhi. No, that's what he's trying to say. That this ha, there it took kasra. Here it will not take kasra. It will not be minhi. It will be minhu. Minhu. Okay. And then uh, let's take uh, minha. Minha e no. Minhuma e no. Me, only minhuma. Minhumi no. So only one singular male pronoun in those in that group, the previous group, uh, gets kasra e. Other than that, pronouns are stubborn, hard headed. You can't change their their pronunciation. Very rarely there are very odd positions. Well, and that's something good for non-Arabs. So they know that the sound will never change. So they're in peace. Alhamdulillah. Otherwise, in regular nouns, you have to know when does it come U? When does it come A? When does it come E? These pronouns are sweet, Masha Allah. They are always, except for this ha, male, male pronoun is a fe flexible in those huruf al jar which we took. Same thing is for la. Li, so lahu, uh, we can't say lihi, laha, uh, lakum, laki, so they, it's all la, and then there's no lahu i, lahi i, lahu ma i, lakuma i, no, it is all, uh, it is all la and whatever pronunciation of the end pronoun is. So whenever the, these are suffix, uh, hatta, I, I don't recall if I can attach for like, like kaf. I can attach a hatta hu, hatta he, hatta ka. No. So, so they, they will kill me. Uh, you are messing up with my Arab, Arab, our Arabic uh, uh, grammar and Arabic language. An, yes. Anhu alayhi salam. But it's not an he. Anhu. It's not like that. That was, um, that was we had e sound. Okay, ilayhi. Here, anhu, anha, anke, anki, ankuma, ankum, ankunna, anha, anhuma, anhum, anhunna. So, this is all what we wanted to mention today. If you, I'll upload this, you can re rewind and write your notes again. Now, let's take the example. So, let's take the example. I have chosen surah which we recite more often, or most often, and that is Surah Yasin. Okay, so let's check the first group. Okay, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Inna jalna fi anaqihim fi anaqihim. Okay, look how many pronouns are popping up on your face. You'll count Surah Yasin by itself. You have so many pronouns. Inna jalna, we made on their neck. Now, on their neck, in their neck, it's supposed to be in. But remember, the meaning changes. So that's why I kept a slash. So initial meaning is in, but you can't put in the neck, those neck collars and chain. So he said, we have kept chain in Jahannam, in their, in their, in their necks, or on their necks, but it is fee in, okay? On their necks, and then fahiya ila al-azqani until they are until ila till to they are in the chin. So they are like very heavy, uh, hefty type of chains around their neck. So it's not a small chain like a necklace. Ah, jannat ma apne ol dagi no mar sijana ma dagi no bi aap aap wa maus. No 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 no. They are going to give us necklace in the jannah. No. This is like huge neck collar which comes to your chin, azqani. So this is not your. May Allah keep you protected and us all of us, inshallah. To Saddam Hussein, to Yazid, and to criminal ones, okay, inshallah. But not to us. So this is like a, a kind of very broad collar, uh, neck collar. This chain is very broad. It comes to the chin, to ila, okay? Ala Yasin. Okay, so there are two harf jar. 
Yasin wal Quran al Hakim inna ka lamin al Mursalin ala siratin mustaqim ala siratin so there is ala on a straight path ala siratin mustaqim on a straight path and why didn't I put wal Quran al Hakim here that wow is qasam by the Quran which is wise who can tell me those who are awake i know i didn't ask you today questions we are kept going around let's see who wants to say why didn't i keep wow al qasam here wal quran al hakim those who are awake why didn't i put that wow is wow of harjar it's a particle of preposition and it is it is wow al qasam. Okay, why didn't I put it here? Anyone? Are you guys sleeping? <laughs> no one? I'll help you. Okay, I'll help you. Let's check. Somebody send the chat. No, wal Qurani, wa wal Qurani, wal Qurani al Hakim, al Qurani. It has kasra. It's a genuine harf jar. Is it because of the al? Is it because of the al? No, 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 no. I, I'll, I'll let you know. I, you, okay, you, you guys will not figure it out because. Do you find wow harf jar in this group? Is there any wow in this group? No. Okay. So we are taking the example of that group. So this wow is here, the qasam group two. So I have kept it here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Samani sana. So anyhow, so let's go back to that group. Now now make a picture image of the, the group. So so you may pop up some of the Huruf al Jar which are not from this group, and I'll repeat this question for you guys. So make an image. What are these? Ila ala fi b. Ila ala fi b. Fi b. Someone's name fi b. Okay. Ila to ala on fi in b. Okay. Anything other than this, I will not put that on slide. Even if it is in the sequence of your surah Yasin. Ah, why didn't he mention this? This is also harf jar. So now I'm going to do that. I'm going to ask you. Okay. So let's see if you're going to be awake this time. Wasawa'un alayhim. Wasawa'un alayhim. It is same. It is equal. It doesn't make any difference. Alayhim. Upon them. Okay. So here the interpreter said to them. It is equal on them. It is equal upon them. It is equal to them. It is same to them. Okay, that whether you warn them, you don't give them warning. They are not going to pay heed. So where is the harf jar? Allah. So Allah, whenever we have him, some of the pronouns, we change the alif. Look at this technical thing. Focus with me. This it's Allah, but this is alay. How can this alay be harf jar? You never taught us. Yes. So now I'm going to teach you. So whenever there is pronoun att attached, many of the pronouns is Allah becomes alay with a ya. So, so we put a ya and we, we change, we convert, we convert this alif to ya. Is that clear? Assalamu alayka, not alaka ya Abu Abdullah al Hussein. Assalamu alayka ayyuhan nabi, alayka ayyuhan, not assalamu alaka ayyuhan nabi. Assalamu alaka, ya Fatima to Zara. No, Assalamu alayhi, Assalamu alayk, alaykum, not alakum. When you say salam to people, how do you say it? Assalamu alaykum. You don't say Assalamu alaykum. But though it's, it's Allah, it's Allah, initially it's Allah. Why do people say Assalamu alaykum? Wa alakum as salam? No, wa alaykum as salam. You see, this Allah has converted to alay. Assalamu alaikum, not assalamu alaka. 
assalamu alaiki not assalamu alaiki assalamu alaikum not assalamu alaikum assalamu ala <laughs> alaikum not assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum not assalamu alaikum assalamu alaihi not assalamu alaihi assalamu alaiha not assalamu alaiha alaha assalamu alaihima not assalamu alaihu ima assalamu alaihim not assalamu alaihim assalamu alaihin not assalamu alaihin okay no it is ala has converted to alay when it is a, assalamu alayya assalamu not assalamu alayya assalamu alayna salams upon us not assalamu alayna <laughs> So it is like that. Allah has converted. I gave you all the forms of pronoun. How Allah changes to alay. How alif changes to ya. Okay, this is how Arab used it. And that's why it became grammar. Grammar is they come after the use of the people of their language. So grammar is derived from the language and not opposite. <laughs> let's see. What else was left? Okay, so let's go back. Ila, did we take Ila? Yes, Ila al Adhkani. Okay. Uh, Allah, did we take Allah? Yes, Allah Sirat in Mustaqim. Okay. Did we take Fi? Inna Jalna Fi Anakim. Yes. Did we take B? Uh, so there's B missing. Okay. Yes. Inna ma tunziru. You can only warn those who are going to follow you, the, the mentioning, the remindering, the warning, who are going to listen, pay heed. Those are the one only. Innama is you only. Those are the one only who are going to follow. Though innama, you can give them warning. And he fears, yes, awe of the most merciful. Okay? Bil Ghaybi. We got the B here. Okay. Bil Ghaybi. B E. Okay. There's a Kasra. So this Harf Jar. Bil Ghaybi. Okay. So with the unseen, with without seeing, he has not seen God. God can never ever be seen. So he believed in God without. Unlike those materialistic people, show us the God, otherwise we will not believe. So that is the uniqueness, that you have not seen God, but you felt the existence of God with logical evidence and logical argument. So you believed, and that makes you in a very higher, lofty rank. So you are the one, okay, who is paying heed and who is, uh, is, uh, is, has awe of the most merciful because you have realized the existence of God, Bil Ghaibi. Give him Bishara. Give him glad tidings. So this Ba is not Harjar. Okay? This is a verb. Bashiru. Give him glad tidings. Bishara. Bimagafira. Tin. E. There's an E sound here. Okay? Bimagafira. Tin. B. Harjar. Magafira. Tin. Wa ajrim kareem. Okay? So Bimagafira. Tin. With Give him glad, tid glad tidings of what? Like giving glad tidings with the, with the forgiveness that Allah will forgive him. So this glad tidings includes the forgiveness. Be maghfiratin. Give him glad tidings with the, with the glad tidings of forgiveness. So there is bashiru bi bisharat al Give him glad, give him glad tidings of the, or with the glad tidings of forgiveness, or of the forgiveness. So we said that the meaning could change from context to context. Let's go to our second group. Now take a, take a snap image of this group. These are the ones which have problem with the singular male ha. They don't, they, 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 they say no, ha, ha says I'm not, these people, I don't like them. I will not change with them. I will be who, okay? Um, I don't want to change. So just take a, take a snapshot here, okay? Take a snapshot of your uh, eyes. Click. So it is kaf, wow, ta, lam, meem, hatta, ain. Tell me, and then what did we miss? Okay? What did, which letter we missed? Be awake. 
Wow, wal Quran al Hakim. Yasin, by the wise Quran, you are from the Mursalin. So you Yasin, you Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay, by the wise Quran. This was a footnote uh, which I removed it, so no need to have this number one here. Okay. Okay, by the wise Quran. So we took wow. Check, check out. <laughs> Checklist. وَجَعَلْنَا مِنْ بَيْنِ أَيْدِيهِمْ سَدًّا وَمِنْ خَلْفِهِمْ سَدًّا وَجَعَلْنَا مِنْ 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 بَيْنِ huh? مِنْ بَيْنِ And بَيْنِ is also from those adverbs which, which, which act like preposition. Inshallah, next week I'll give you that. Okay? So I'm not reading this thing. But accidentally I kept here underline let me just remove this underline so net not to cause confusion <laughs> so this is this is supposed to be underline oops what did i do this is for next week yes okay we are done these are just few examples of surah yasin just you are noting which one i did not mention okay so we have so this is like min baini aidihim from before them from in front of them from behind of them but in translation they don't do like that it will look ugly translation but i just kept it in bracket to let you know that initially it's from before of them from behind of them but nobody uses this kind of language okay so that's why i kept it in bracket uh, so barrier before them like from before of them uh, from behind of them from so that is min bayni aydihim wa min khalfihim wa darib lahum what what harf al jar is yes lam for give an example for them wa darib is heat beat 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 them with an example but that's a metaphor <laughs> if somebody does not convince you beat them you give you give them slap now oh you okay understood understood <laughs> That was, so what happens, there's a polite way. So instead of beating him slap, so they understand, beat him with an example. But that's, but metaphorically, give him an example. Strike him with an example. Cite for him an example. Okay, present for him an example. For, present for them, here, lahum. So verb is like present for them. Wadrib, so that they can understand, okay, instead of kaf, Instead of slap, give them a Mathalan Ashab al Qaryat Ilja al Mursalu. Tell them how people they are stubborn, they don't listen, they don't pay heed. Give them an example. Give for them an example. Okay. Attahidu min dunihi. This we took. Min. We took or we did not? Yes, we took. Should I take from other than? Yeah, besides God. Other than God, gods? No, I cannot. This is Habib Najar saying. And then, أَتَّخْذُ مِنْ دُونِي آلِهَةً إِنْ يُرِدْنِ الرَّحْمَانُ بِذُرِّنْ We have two prepositions here. Three, one, and two, and three. مِنْ دُونِهِ آلِهَةً إِنْ يُرِدْنِ الرَّحْمَانُ بِذُرِّنْ بِذُرِّنْ If Allah wants me to be harmed, He wants me to be with harm, like with, okay, in harm. We said we B is in bil manzil in harm. Allah subhanahu wa taala. If He wants me to be in harm, no one can take that away from me. An ni, okay, an an away. No one can take that harm. If Allah wants to harm me, no one can take away from me that harm. These idols will not help me. You guys will not help me. Not 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 your intercession to these idols will help me. If Allah wants to harm me. No one can help me. And that is what happened. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punished after they killed Habib al Najjar. Allah perished the whole uh, city of this, uh, uh, the, these evil, evil ones. Okay? Okay. So, la uh, tughni uh, anni. Nothing will help me. Everybody will be away from me. Your intercession will be away from me. No, no one will be able to help me and rescue me if my God wants me to be in harm, okay? And here, to cause harm is like, a, like to make it nice, decent way. 
ha then wal qamara qaddarnahu manazila the moon the, the moon has stages the moon has um, it's uh, like stage number one, stage number two. They are manazil. They are levels. They are they are phases. The moon has uh, phases, smaller, bigger, 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 until the moon comes back like al urjun al qadim. What is urjun al urjun al qadim? You know, like a, a palm tree. Like when uh, w the palm trees are like that green when they are fresh, but then the palm tree starts to bend down. You see, it becomes like a crescent, the palm tree. So um, until it becomes like an old palm tree, like either old palm tree becomes like this or old palm tree, like those, those branches, they start bending down, okay? Instead of bend, uh, being up. So or the tree itself, the trunk, it's, it leans down. It becomes like, instead of being straight, old palm trees are a little bit leaned down. So kal urjun al qadim. Kal, ha. So we have two harjar resemblance. Kamathal al himari. Remember Surah Al Jum'ah? Kamathal al himari yahmil asfara. Wal qamar qaddarnahu manazila hatta. These phases, the moon changes its phases until it comes back to a, a similar to a very old branch or, or a very old palm tree. And then this is not from Surah Yasin. This I could not find this ta tallahi in Surah Yasin, so I had to borrow it from uh, other surah. So what tallahi Prophet Ibrahim salam, said, Qasam, that Prophet Ibrahim challenge. When you guys are not in the temple, I'm going to destroy the hell out of these idols. Okay, what tallahi by God, asnamakum. Okay, I will make plots against these idols. I'm going to do something. Okay, بعد أن تولوا مدبرين. Once you have gone away, once nobody is in the temple, I'm going to make something. So he was threatening them. So that's why when they found this idols broken, this and ha, this this youth is called Ibrahim. He must have done it. He was threatening. So he that قسم. I'm not going to leave these idols. Wallahi, Allahi, by God, Allahi, I'm not going to leave these idols. Okay. And then I think that is it. If arsalna ilayhim uthnaini, just ponder on that. Where are the harf jar? Because the time is finished. Where are the huruf jar here? And more than that, I have given you a full exercise. Open Surah Yasin and find the prepositions in it. Wa akhir da'wan alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin wa sallallahu ala Muhammadin wa ala alihi al-tayyibin al-tahirin. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.